Hey, what is up everybody? Michael here. Welcome back to Technoid. And yeah, we're not in our usual location for this video. So if you guys don't know, I forgot to once again inform you that I am on vacation and I look so terrible, I have to shave. Uh, that just shows the summer makes me lazy. <laughs> but I am on vacation again. I'm in North Carolina, but I figured this time around I want to do something a little different. I don't want to leave you guys hanging wondering what's going on. So instead of missing all the news, I'm going to do them right here. And also I apologize if you don't see an intro or hear any music. Uh, I'm just going to have to see, use what I have on my iPad. Uh, it's just what I have for the time being. But of course, I will be back on Tuesday, so fully edited videos will be back. So let's break down what's been happening this week and also talk about something that's going to happen tomorrow. So let's get right into the news. First story up of the day is the Google Pixel 4. Now, I talked about the design of the Google Pixel 4, and I really wasn't too crazy about it. But at the same time, I didn't rant and talk about how it's going to make the phone bad. Because look, I feel like everybody is taking things out of context at this point. Because look, at this point, a smartphone's a smartphone. It's not, you know, it's not some piece of junk that's left on the sidewalk. It's a smartphone. A smartphone is meant to be used in the front. What are you gonna turn the phone around on the back and worry, looking at, oh, that camera bump, oh, look at that, it looks so great. Like, what's going on here? Now, there are a lot of stuff going on with the Google marketing from uh, front page tech and a couple of other people's stuff. Me, I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys and gonna say, I really don't care what these new stuff is. It's more complicated than a jigsaw puzzle. Hell, it's even more complicated than playing chess. And, uh, that's just Google, so. Um, but apparently somebody has been using the Google mock-up. Now, if you look at the photo, uh, there is an individual that is supposedly using a Google Pixel 4 in a case. And I feel like Google really doesn't care about their marketing as much. But at the same time, I actually would like to check out the phone. Um, there are some rendered rumors of what the design looks like. It will not have a notch, although it will have a chin. It may go back to the S9 uh, Samsung design. It may not go with the punch hole design as we thought. Which, you know what, I'll be real with you, that's a fine design. I never thought the S9 looked that bad. If they go to that design, I'd be all for it. There's no notch, there's no nothing. It, to me, that's a perfect design, in my opinion. Instead of having to rely on a pop-up camera, you could still have that little chin, but also balancing it out. Me, I'm fine with that. I have no issue with that at all. I would be cool with that design. And to be honest with you, the Google Pixel 4 looks much more promising than last year. So hopes to God that Google gets their shit together and let's hope they keep it going. Story number two is a surprising turn of event, but a really, really shocking uh, news that I was able to hear. The Samsung Galaxy S10. Now, if you guys don't know, the Samsung Galaxy uh, phones, as you know, all smartphones depreciate as time goes. And to be honest with you, it doesn't look that good for Android phones, cause you know. But Samsung phones have really depreciated the most out of any, and their S10 lineup, oh, oh, I feel so bad for anybody that bought the S10 on day one, because that phone depreciated like there was no tomorrow. It went down by $500. So an $899, not even $300. I'm sorry guys, I got my facts mixed up. But the idea that a smartphone that starts at $900 to $1,000 depreciates within less than a year tells you that the holdup value for the Galaxy is not only strong, but two, Apple's resale values are still higher. So my advice, if you want a smartphone that holds value, get yourself an iPhone. And last story up of the day, not a big story, but just a, a quick redo. Uh, T-Mobile Sprint merger, there is a set date trial that is supposed to happen. Um, I really don't, I, I really can't believe we're getting to this point. Like I really cannot believe that this merger is really under fire from their quotes. Now there was an article posted though today I read, it is saying that the DOJ and FCC are online right now. The DOJ is actually, supposedly actually wanting this merger to happen. All T-Mobile has to do is, of course, give up a little more assets and then that will please them and may turn the cases down. I read an article from the New York Times displaying what can be done for the lawsuits. To, obviously, the lawsuits are still going to happen, but they may double down because if T-Mobile is willing to give up some assets, then they may be able to build a fourth uh, co co competitor. I really can't believe they want a fourth one. I Look, look. I'm gonna explain it uh, later. I'll explain at the end of the video what my plans are to talk on this merger, in my opinion. But basically, T-Mobile, in my opinion, what they would have to do, if I was T-Mobile, I would probably give up Virgin, 
instead of giving up Metro, because Metro is really big. So if you give up Metro, then that's really it. There, there's nothing left. So I would give up Virgin, maybe a little bit of Spectrum, but try to keep as much as you can if you want to help spread out that 5G. Um, then that's really it. Um, and last, also quick update, I just got informed. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G is coming to Sprint. So now Verizon is not only the only carrier now, now Sprint will have it because there is 5G in New York, most notably in Brooklyn, and it says to be reliable and fast. So it looks like 5G is happening for Sprint. The only, and also AT&T as well, but only for business end users. The only person or the only company behind is T-Mobile. So T-Mobile, you really don't need to wait on this merger. I'd probably just push your 5G out so we can start the build. But I am going to say this. Tomorrow, I am going to release a full video on my take on the T-Mobile merger. I will be joined by a very special guest. Um, I believe you guys know who he is, Sneed Mobile Tech. It will be an honor to have him on. Uh, guys, that video is going to happen tomorrow. We're going to do a live episode. Well, I hope to be. But if it doesn't happen live, then we'll just record it and then I'll post it as a podcast. Uh, I'll try my best. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know down below what did you think of the news today. Uh, that's really it. I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So thanks for watching and peace.